In this lesson, we're gonna to continue to refine this render and make it look better. So let's close this down and close the hypershade and get into, let's get rid of these cones. And how we can do that is go up here to the Arnold tab of this object's shape and turn off everything basically. We're not using it for any render purposes. So we can just turn off all these things so they don't render. And we can do the same thing for the plane. And now when we render, we should be able to see it without those things in the render. So I'll hit play on the Arnold render view. And let me just move the camera so we can see this a little bit better. And I also just wanna rotate around the image to see how the reflections are looking. You can see they're popping off pretty good right here. And <clears throat> what I'd like to see are a little more reflections on the front and that'll depend on the camera that we create as well. So we'll save that for a little bit later. Let's keep adding some shaders here and refining the uh, material that we're using. So I'm gonna go back a little bit in time and I'm gonna hit play. I'm gonna turn off the, I don't want that constantly rendering. Why I'm going back in time and hitting play <clears throat> is because I wanna be able to see the trails that are created so when we get a little bit of a length to one here, I will hit escape. So with these objects, we don't actually need to do anything special with the data user color stuff. This can just be its own new shader. So I'm gonna select both of the trails because I want them to have the same shader assigned to them and go over to Arnold and say AI standard surface. And for right now, let's choose that purple and then for the spheres, I want to choose a wireframe. So let's go to assign to material and go over to shader. And there is a AI wireframe and we want to use polygons. Let's open up the render view so we can kind of see what's happening. I'll hit play here. So now we can see we're actually getting a wireframe of the geometry itself, which is kind of cool. And we have these attributes over here on the right to affect it. And what I wanna do with the fill color is I wanna have that be the teal, and I think I want the line color to be a white so that it kind of stands out a little bit. I wanna increase the line width, the width of it. <clears throat> and let's scale back to kind of where the camera's gonna be to see if that's a little too much because the line width might be too heavy there when we actually scale back and see it. So let's scale that back a little bit. I'm just looking at the line width of these spheres and maybe dial it back a little bit more. Looks pretty good. So, and you can also see at render time, if you remember correctly, I don't, I don't think we did it to this trail um, because that was the one I left up to you to do. But if we go down to Arnold subdivision, uh, we can turn on Cat Clark, turn that to two to help smooth out that transition. And so when we zoom into this thing, we can see it's it's nicely smoothed and it's not faceted. Like this kind of can appear to be close up. Let's do a super close up so you can see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> At render time, <clears throat> it is uh, adding more subdivisions. That's what that Cat Clark thing does. Okay, great. So now we have shaders assigned to everything. We can continue to refine them in the coming lessons. And the first thing I think I wanna do is add a mission to the, to the trails. I want these to not be as reflective and shiny, I think. And let me zoom out a little bit. And get a, a picture of the whole thing here. So I want these to be a little more glowy, kind of in the same vein of the spheres. So with the mesh trails geo selected i'm going to go over to its uh, surface shader here or sorry it's a standard surface shader and i'm going to call this trails just so i can see it a little bit better i want to scroll down to emission emission will add a little color to this i'm going to choose that same color that we've already assigned to it but in emission you can see it kind of brightens it up and it also kind of projects light on two things around it. So it makes it feel like it's kind of glowing a little bit. So we can just crank that up. 
Now we still have the reflection. We can turn off reflections under specular. So we can just pull the weight of that down to zero. And now we got rid of that reflection that was kind of highlighting here on that edge. Feel free to keep that if you want. I'm just going to turn it off for now. We might bring that back. But that works pretty well so far. And we can continue to refine this in the next lessons where we will refine the shaders and we will add a camera and uh, tweak some reflection stuff on the main piece here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.